Dick in my pants, ayy. My bitch don't love me no more, ayy. She kicked me out of life, bro. Ayy. That bitch don't wanna be friends, ayy. I give her this, she I'm mad, ayy. She put her 10 on my dick, ayy. Look at my wrist and my tag, ayy. Just got a pound of the poof, ayy. Buy that shit straight to the booth, ayy. Tell me my health is a fool, ayy. She said one fuck, bitch, I do, ayy. You put a gun on my man. Straight man, James. Is your tour going to continue, James? What's up, bitches? It's Messy Mark, the messiest bitch on YouTube. And guys, today I am here to talk about the sister scandal heard around the world. Guys, today I'm feeling a little ugly, a little busted, a little lazy, kind of like Nick Snyder, but no tea, no shade. I love Nick. But anyways, guys, I'm going to try this voiceover thing today. So let's get into it. So uh, today, the other day, whatever, James was spotted, at, I think in an Australian airport, he was going down under to handle some you know, some sister business or whatever. I think personally, James being silent is not, is not the answer. James, you need to come out and you need to hit Tati back. You need to explain yourself because by you being silent, it is just completely making you look like, like, why are you silent? Like, why are you hiding? You know, this, this, this sister scandal needs to be addressed. These accusations need to be addressed and they need to be addressed now. This isn't like Manny and Laura, you know, being fake friends. Like this sister scandal goes above that. This sister scandal is about using money, fame, and power to manipulate young men into thinking that they are something that they are not. And when they tell you that they are not, you want to bash them on all social media platforms. You want to almost like blackmail them. And it's just so sister scary. And these accusations, they need to be addressed because you are losing so many subscribers. And me personally, I never really liked you. Tati just hit 10 million. You know, I love Tati so much, but James has lost like 3 million subscribers. I've checked his social blade, but now he's starting to even out. And, you know, my conspiracy is that he's he's in with the head bitch in charge at, you know, YouTube. And I think there's something sister shady going on. Anyways, moving forward, I think, you know, you can come back from a sister scandal. You know, look at, you know, look at Britney. You know, she had a little personal time, you know, whatever you want to call it. She was trying to find herself. And, you know, she came back into the spotlight a little bit and, you know, yeah, she had some bangers, but nothing, you know, was really the same. But, you know, Laura Lee, you know, she, Laura Lee came back. She came back to Target. She came back to TJ Maxx. She's still doing her little thing. You know, Manny MUA, rest in peace. You know, you never really came back. But, you know, there's still hope. There's still hope for Sister James. And, you know, me personally, I don't like Sister James. I think his whole career is based off lies um, from, from how he got famous with his uh, sister school photo and all of his face tuning. But there is... Hope. There is hope. You know, these little 12 and 14 year old girls, you know, their attention span is so small. Their memory is so short. I mean, just put out some sister merch and, you know, I think you should be good. I also think that James needs to come out with like photos. He needs to, he needs to come out with content. He needs to open himself up because this is a great time. If he wants to let people into his world, he needs to come out with something. But let me just say this. We do not need another documentary. Yeah. It'd be fucking great for the drama community, which James tries to control by the way, <coughs> but it'd be so funny, but we do not need. an. well, actually I guess we do need it. We, we do need a James Charles documentary. That shit would be fucking hysterical. 
But anyways, guys, I know this has been, you know, a crazy, a crazy journey. You know, all the sister scandal, you know, Tati putting him on blast. But this is his first spotting out at the airport. And why is he wearing heels, by the way? Who wears heels to the airport? Is he ready for a good sister suck in? But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I just got um, a bigger following. Um, I got like two or 300 more subscribers. I love all of you guys. I click on all of your profiles. I love reading all of your comments. I got a bunch of new Twitter followers. So yeah, guys, um, the messy mob is strong. The messy mob is alive. Let me know down below what you think. And yeah, um, have a good day, guys. And always use protection.